So here we are in uh, one of the center squares of Brussels. This part of Brussels looks very, very, very much like Paris. You can see the influence of, of the French. So that's, uh, we're going to go down there in just a moment. But I just walked up from the old part of the city to over here. And you can see the big, massive uh, Royal Courts of Justice in the background. That's as big as the U.S. Capitol. It's a massive building. It's the Palace of Justice. So we're going to walk over here. I ran this last night to see the uh, Royal Palace. It's just right around the corner. And they have this park set up in the middle of the city here. It's kind of like their version of Central Park, except you know, probably uh, it was reserved only for the royals for a long period of time. This is getting more into the uh, to the more traditional part of, uh, like I said, the more Paris-looking component of uh, of Brussels. And again, you can see these signs: Palace Royale. That's what we're going to be looking at here in a moment. Obviously, uh, that's the Royal Palace. Obviously, as the political and cultural and economic center of Europe for centuries, this was an important city for a long time. And, uh, and then uh, later on, uh, the Belgians were very good at uh, uh, colonizing and uh, stealing the wealth of, of uh, third world nations, much like the Brits, so there's a lot of that wealth that remains in this city. A lot of my Belgian colleagues talk about that, that uh, the, a lot of their friends have a lot of old world money. The other night I went running through this park, which is, is beautiful at night. Very nice lion trees. You can see some modern buildings there in the background. Certainly, uh, certainly a different look and feel to this part of the city. Um, it's a pretty massive uh, national uh, uh, royal palace here. Um, they still have monarchs, but of course they're not, uh, they don't serve any function. Um, but uh, and it was interesting that uh, the Belgians had a fairly easy transition from a monarchy to democracy, all things considered. So I'm going to cross this spot, and it's kind of fun to listen to the cars, uh, the cars hit these cobblestones. I'll cross over here and just give you a flavor for what this looks like. Pedestrians in Europe uh, that are walking have the right of way, which is kind of interesting. Um, sorry, it's a little jerky here for a second, but I'll get you closer so you can see the building in its grandeur, along with the gardens. But it's pretty nice and really neat when it's lit up at night. They have the so you can see, you can see the grasses and the, the shrubbery of the Royal Palace. Not quite Buckingham Palace. So I did go by, uh, did go by the other day when I was in London. So you can see uh, there's more than a couple of trains. And if you see that spire straight in the middle of the uh, center, that's the spire from the Grand Place. So where I was before, the, the big building in the middle of the Grand Place. So um, our hotel is right basically behind that building, and the U.S. Embassy is on the other side of the park in that direction. So anyway, see the Belgian flag, Royal Court.